Year's Eve, Bondi's biggest night of the year. 15,000 revellers count down a new decade. Cracking it large at Bondi Beach. Happy New Year, everybody. Emergency services struggle to keep control. Drunk and drug-affected partygoers are kept away from the water for their own safety, but some slip through. Swimming when drunk is risky. Doing it in the dark is doubly dangerous. Until Bondi's lifeguards begin patrolling at dawn, it's no holds barred. Happy New Year! The morning after, the night before. Lifeguards expect Bondi will be a battlefield. All right, here we go again. 2010. 5am. Normally, the first joggers begin appearing. Today, it's the first drunk. Come on, get a walker for us. Here's a few bucks for tea. First, first rush for 2010. Yeah. 2010, let us try. We're fighting for it. You know what? I'm going to go swimming in backpackers' reef. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This backpacker's New Year's resolution may be fulfilled sooner than he thinks. Watch out for this space. Senior lifeguard Dino is first on patrol. Happy New Year. Wishing you all the best in 2010. Flags in, boys. Well, I you no yeah, I'm looking for gold. Lifeguards brace themselves for a range of possible incidents. We've got two defibs on the beach today. Uh, four lifeguards. We're sort of we're ready for action. One of us will keep setting up, and the other will deal with the unconscious patients when we find them. For some, New Year's Day begins with a rude shock. Well, going again. Oh, well, there's no way I'm rescuing him. <laughs> He's staying there. I've seen a few wangs this morning. Why do people like to get in the mood on New Year's Day? Maybe absolve himself from their sin in 2009. While many are alive to the new decade, some are yet to arrive. people on the beach. A lot of people heavily intoxicated last night sort of just drive up to them as we go and see if they're all right. Morning. Hello. You're right. You're right. You boys okay? Morning people. Morning, how are you? Fine? Sounding an alarm and waking people up. It's not really necessary, it's more funny than anything. <coughs> it's not long before the first incident of the year. Outside the safety of the flags, a man signals he's in trouble. It's the same man who joked earlier that he wanted to swim in Backpacker's Rip and be the first rescue of the decade. Are you serious, Carl? New Year's Day starts with a prank. I can't tell whether, whether he's fed income or not. Not sure if the man is faking, Dino has no choice but to investigate. So I hope he's got clothes on. But there are unpleasant distractions on the way. Look at this imbecile here in the nude. All right, come on, jump in. I've got to go back to work. 
trying to work out whether you're serious or not. Lay down on your belly, all the way down. You got a cramp. Jesus. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. Ah. I was watching you, you're all right. Lay down, come on. You did it yourself. For English tourist Craig, it's the first lesson of the new year. Be careful what you wish for. Dino, you were there for it, mate. Thank you very much for that. I mean, I appreciate it, Craig. Have a good day. Yeah, you have a good day. But f me. He's dangerous. All of us is like, like shadow deep like that. And then all of a sudden, he just took you out. You ain't got no excuse. Like, he just takes you straight out. Scary, I'll tell you that. Scary. I ain't going back out there again until he's beside me. Watch out. Sorry, boy. We'll run you over. That's punishment. Top boy, that boy. Thank you very much, mate. What's that, 2010? First lifesaver. Oh, <laughs> oh, what is that title? You <laughs> As the battlefield slowly gets cleared, lifeguards receive an emergency call. There is a male person in distress, 400 metres off the northern end of Bondi. The person is in a rubber dinghy and is waving for assistance. Launching the jet ski in a carefully drilled manoeuvre, Ben and Mouse head out. With so little information, it's impossible to know what to expect. Lifeguards and volunteer lifesavers search for his boat somewhere off Bondi's cliffs. There he is, I got him. The tiny boat is drifting almost a kilometre out to sea. Bondi Central to jet ski. Boys, have you located the vessel? Yeah, jet ski to Bondi Central, vessel located. Um, his motor has broken down. Um, we're just devising a plan of attack from here. OK, thanks, guys. I'll let Surf come down. The man has taken on the might of the ocean in a homemade boat no bigger than a dinghy. He's got a broken engine, but no oars and no radio. At least he has a life jacket. Right in, just keep, keep that into the back. Ben and Mouse secure the stricken vessel before it heads further out to sea. We're just beginning the task of tying this boat back into North Bondi. The patient is on the duck. He's going to be dropped in there. Copy that, Ben. Before it takes on more water, the unconventional craft makes dry land. Ben and Mouse give the skipper a lift back to the beach. Safely ashore, Captain Anthony reveals the mystery behind his dramatic New Year voyage, which began 12 hours earlier. Right, you're in your going out here from last night. Oh, it was still yeah, there. Did you go out? Yeah. Did you go out last night? I went out last night. Where'd you go? I was um, on the beach just across from Rose Bay, got the perfect view. Perfect. On the boat? Out on the boat? Yeah, so one o'clock I was crashed out. Got up and was like, oh, I'm going to treat myself. Brand new boat, I'm going to take it out. Sick. But what's the story behind the unusual vessel, the SS Good Times? Where'd you get the boat from? So I got it off eBay for $2.55. $2.55. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my pride and joy. Yeah. Uh, except for my son. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lucky you made it back in to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me yelling and screaming at the girls up in the mountains. I don't know. What oh, really? Happened. So you didn't radio? No, no. How did we get contact? My mobile was wet. I had no mobile. <laughs> um, hey, I, I just totally forgot eh? about my flares. A trawler came to me yeah. and uh, gave me a can of Pepsi. Uh, <laughs> one of a kind, mate. One of a kind. Yeah. You know, take it easy, son. Shall do. Bizarre stories turn into life threatening stories. He's thinking there's nothing wrong taking his $2.50 boat off eBay round to Bondi. Given where he where he was when Mouse and I got to him, we couldn't see him from the beach. If his boat had sunk and he'd been floating, he's even harder to see, so... New Year's Day, tell you what. <laughs> for $2.55, Captain Anthony got much more adventure than he paid for. You need a towel, really? Um, be cold? I was learning my lesson by walking home in the cold. <laughs> Bought on eBay, engineered by YouTube. YouTube's taught me how to rebuild it all. So I didn't have to get a tape or have anyone else do it for me. It's pretty cool. Everything's there pretty much for free for you. Nah, I know. Thank you very much, boys. Right, yeah, it was a pretty typical Bondi yeah. kickoff, kickstart to the year, definitely. 
but the New Year's madness is far from over. Beardy spots two swimmers being thrown around in the shore break. Yatesy investigates. <laughs> Getting dumped in the shore break can come at a cost. She's Irish. She's Irish. <laughs> She's got no idea. <laughs> oh. What have you been doing today? Uh, a bit of this, a bit of that. A bit of that, a bit of this. Yeah, yeah. you look like you're having a bit of a ball there. Yeah. yeah. You look, you look, you look, you look, you look, you look really nice teeth. You reckon? <laughs> yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> oh, yeah, so how's that shore break? Bit, bit, sea, bit weedy, eh? This is my mate. He's from Ireland. I want. Make my kraken. I want. Kraken. I have something to say. I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you do, eh? I think, I think you just money well spent. You look like having a ball. <laughs> sorry, 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 she said you've got nice teeth. <laughs> I heard her say that. Yeah. Look at those pearls. This one got a full of nuts, all sorts. Strange behaviour and strange happenings. Bondi is full of surprises. That's a massive fish. Oh, that is a huge salmon. Caught with his bare hands. No way. That's out of control. Chu Guan is on his first visit to Bondi from China. He was expecting to go swimming, not fishing. My dad said when well, he just uh, swimming in the water, and then this fish hit my, hit my dad, and then my dad got it. Oh, my dad used to go fishing at home, but normally no fish hit him. <laughs> One E R. Sometimes, truth is stranger than fiction. After midday, a teenager comes to the tower and reports his friend has been injured in the skate park. See that blue truck? Up the south there, mate, second ramp. Go and meet them, tell them what's going on. We've got a broken leg in the skate park. Is this where you've smashed your leg? Yeah, you just relax. Just down there. Is that, is that what's happened? Not only is the patient difficult to access, the skate bowl is a heat trap. It's really hot down here. I want to get him yeah. out. Despite a suspected broken leg, Dino decides getting him out of the bowl and out of the heat is the priority. Can you move your leg? No. no. Huh? no. Can, right. can you lift it? No. Take me back to the sweet time. The hot nights, everything is gonna be alright in the summertime. Baby, in the summertime, that is where I'll be. What did you hit, mate? The, um, when it was, was, was riding down, he like legs <laughs> flipped. He like, cut, no, he like, Blake is 14 and new to the challenges of Bondi skateball. With a suspected broken leg, Dino gives him the green whistle, a self-administered analgesic. Just breathe normally in and out. Tastes, tastes a little bit funny at first. New York State, New South Wales. Go ahead, mate. Um, yeah, a 40-year-old patient, definitely got a broken leg. He's conscious and we've got him on the whistle. Hey, guys, I want you all out of here. I'm going to move him up. Everyone get out. It's over 30 degrees in the sun. Inside the bowl, it's approaching 40. Blake, you're up, Blake? To avoid heat stroke, lifeguards need to get Blake out of the bowl first Blake. and splint his leg you're later. Right. We're going to get you in the shade. It's really hot down here, Brad. You want to do Sit him up. We'll put this Bring behind him. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sit, Sit him, him up and then we'll, we'll carry him out. out. Moving Blake's broken leg without a splint will inevitably hurt. One, two, three. You are right, mate? Yep. yep. Lifeguards finally get Blake into the shade. He's given more pain relief and oxygen to help stabilise him. 
He was going down and he slipped off. He like um went like that and like the spit that lifted up a bit and like snapped. Keep that oxygen on, good boy. Mouse contacts Blake's mother. As soon as I find out where they're taking him, I'll, I'll give you a call and let you know. I broke my leg, I think. Can I go to the hospital with Blake because he like broke his leg at Bondi Beach? Just gonna sit on you off three seconds. Paramedics prepare to splint Blake's leg, but the pain relief still hasn't taken strong enough effect. Big deep breaths in and out. Good boy. Good boy. Despite the pain, Blake manages a brave exit. Xbox for the holidays, Blake. <laughs> I think he fractured his fibula and his tibula from when we moved him, the amount of movement in his leg. So that's a severe break. And from the swelling after we moved him, um, yeah, he's, he's hurt himself pretty bad. As Bondi heats up, beachgoers search for real estate on the crowded sand. But the best spot on the sand isn't always the safest spot in the water. I reckon the worst swimmers yeah. are coming down now. This morning there was hardly any bad swimmers. This afternoon they're all yeah, there. They're all here. Outside the flags, a novice swimmer is caught in a rip. The man is quickly discovering why boogie boards are not considered a safety device. As the man struggles to stay afloat, Troy heads in. But as Troy brings the boogie boarder in through the rip, five more swimmers are drifting out. Yeah, no, just look at those other guys in the rip there. That bigger guy doesn't look too fit. I'm probably 10 guns back out. Troy! Troy! With five people in trouble, there's no time to waste. Does everyone come straight to me? We might have to go. They're not going anywhere. All right, mate, I'll go give them a hand. It's impossible for one lifeguard to get all five swimmers back to shore. Dino joins the multiple rescue. Yeah. The party Lay down on your belly facing forward. Slowly, they ferry the swimmers to safety. For the five English tourists, a simple swim has just become an unforgettable memory. Well, it's my first time swimming in Bondi. I definitely won't be forgetting that. It's a day full of memories today. Then, barely taking breath, Troy spots a seventh swimmer caught in the same rip. The woman is just metres from shore and can't swim. She's panicking and going under. She's dangerously close to drowning. Yeah. You all right? It's all right, it's all right. Come on down the boat. In shock, the woman doesn't realise she's safely back in shallow water. You're all right. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, you can stand. 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 You can stand up. Stand. You can let go. You can let go. Come on. We'll sit down over here. Close to drowning. A fatality has been prevented. You're not having any trouble breathing? No. No? Just kind of scared. Just scared, yeah. It just scared you a little bit because you couldn't, couldn't get to your feet. Thank you. It's, uh, it's a bit of a rip pulling off to the north. And she just got swept straight out and she couldn't swim at all. Like she was underwater, putting her hand up behind her head. And like just straight away when I saw that, I was straight in there. And um, she had a death grip on the board the whole way to shore. Wouldn't let go. Lifeguards rescue over 2,000 swimmers every year, but some rescues are less conventional. I was dropping my boat off and got bogged in the dirt on the side, and I was just like, yeah, like right near the garage doors. Do you remember the Leyland brothers? Travel all over the countryside. Local surfer Dean is stuck high and dry behind the Bondi Pavilion. <laughs> That sucks. Harry's takes charge of the rescue operation. I had an uncle that was a tow truck driver on Fraser Island, so I used to go stay with him. But uh, it's 
it's been ages. This is it, John Wayne. Dun, 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 Harry's calls for the cavalry. You need your two bikes and uh, more muscle. More horsepower, as they say. If you can't get it in, say, 10 or 15 minutes, bring the NRMA or something or a tow truck. I think Harry's in the He's pretty excited. Harry's excited about using his winch. Reinforcements arrive to grapple with what's becoming a major incident. And we need to get this around the axle. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I can see it. <laughs> To be honest with you, it's not going anywhere at the moment. I think we need a bit more experience up here. <laughs> Harry doesn't know what's going on. Oh, it's not. We do offer around 800 car park spots on the beach, but today we're stuck. We're up the creek with, without a paddle, literally. It's a textbook Bondi rescue. We did well then, Gons. Da, 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 da. You're an all-rounder, that's for sure. And I came down to drop the board off, so I didn't have to walk as far and got just bogged as. 